Hello, my liebe Schauspieler. Hello, my fellow actors. This first instructional film on German pronunciation is for everyone in the Sound of Music cast. We're going to focus in on the names and how to say them, just so that we're all making sure that we say them the exact same way. So without further ado, let's get our German on. Hmm. Well, now that we've got our German on, let's begin. The first name we'll look at is Admiral von Schreiber. Admiral von Schreiber. In German, the V makes an F sound, giving us von, and then with Schreiber, try and keep the SH nice and tall. In English, we kind of have this, this, this deeper shushing sound we make, but in German, they keep it high and forward. Schreiber. Admiral von Schreiber. Next is our proper noun, Berlin. You can say Berlin, but it will sound way more German if you think of a bear instead. Berlin, Berlin. And now one of our nuns, Sister Bertha. Bertha. Like Berlin, we want to use that bear sound, Bertha. It's also important to remember that in the German language, they don't have the TH sound. That doesn't exist for them. So it wouldn't be Bertha. Nein, 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 nein. Bertha. Also an interesting tidbit, Bertha, uh, th this name in German means famous. Or it also means bright. So, you know, you can decide what you're going for, depending on how you want the role to work out. Our next name, super important for everyone, Max Detweiler. Max Detweiler. Oh, but wait. They say that Weiler in the movie. They do, they do. And they're wrong. It's Det Weiler. In German, W always makes a V sound. Det Weiler. Det Weiler. Edelweiss, Det Weiler. The W, it always makes a V sound. When you see a W, then you know what to do. Sing it all vice or dead vile. Yep, can't stress this enough. Dead viler, not dead viler. He's not a question, he's a person. Then, of course, there's Frau Schmidt. You can try and do it the American way, Schmidt, which has a not as high SH like we talked about. But if you want it to sound more real, like her name really was, you'd raise it, Schmidt. Frau Schmidt. They call German a guttural language, but our vowels are the low ones. <laughs> While we're doing Fraus, Frau Schrader. Frau Schrader. And then there's Elsa. You all know how her name goes, so we won't stay on it very long. Yeah, Elsa. Good luck with that one. From Frau to Fräulein, from Mrs. to Miss. It's important that it's Fräulein and not Fräulein. Fräulein is, is not at all German. It's Fräulein. Like joy, Freu, Fräulein. We have Fräulein Schweiger, for example. Up next we have Friedrich. 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 Don't let that final H intimidate you. We use it all the time in English. Huge. Hugh. Human. Friedrich. It's just a slightly voiced H. The official term is an Ichlaut, but it's just sounding out an H. If you need a little extra practice, just say huge, human, Hugh, Friedrich. Just doing that same H sound each time. Friedrich. That'll separate us from people who are really just trying to get by in German. Friedrich. There's no K in there. Do not say it with a K, that is wrong. Okay, okay. Kaltzberg. Kaltzberg. That's where the music festival is held, in Kaltzberg. When you have a G at the end of a German word, the G makes a very soft sound. We have a hard guttural G, but theirs is just the beginning of the G. G, G, G. It sounds almost like a vocal stop. Kaltzberg. Kaltzberg. Or you can also think of a small K if that helps. Kaltzberg. This next one's quite important. Nonberg Abbey. Nonberg Abbey. 
When a G is at the end of the word in German, we, we make our G's very hard in English, G. Theirs are very soft, almost like a K. Nonberg Abbey. Nonberg Abbey. Next, while we're in the Abbey, let's go to Sister Sophia. Sister Sophia. It's important to note that when S is the only consonant at the start of a word, it makes a Z sound. Sister Sophia. And now for probably our scariest Nazi in the entire production, Herzella. Herzella. In German, the Z makes a TS sound, like a Russian Tsar. Or you can also think of it as cellar, like your basement cellar, but with a T at the beginning. Herzella. Herzella. The one thing we don't want to do is say Herzeller. That is very American, and anybody who's studied German in the audience will laugh us to scorn. And we don't want that. So, Herzeller. Okay, nerd moment. Let's go to the nerd closet. Oh, not my nerd closet. Just my regular closet. My mistake. Let's get out of here. Final pronunciation for tonight is Captain Von Trapp. Technically, this is wrong, but I think we should do it the wrong way. If we were going to go by the actual German rule, it would be Captain Von Trapp. Von is used to show that someone is either nobility or they own a lot of land. And we know that Captain Von Trapp certainly owned a lot of land. He left it all behind when he fled from the Nazis. And when you own no land, then you're known as a Von, Captain Von Trapp. And that's actually spelled differently, V-A-N, which is how we get individuals like Ludwig von Beethoven. So even though it technically should be Captain Von Trapp, I'm okay saying Captain Von Trapp because he did lose his land and his title. So that is... Grammatically correct, even though it is spelled wrong and has been said wrong by generations. But I fear that it is so well ingrained in society by now, from the movie, from the play, the Von Trapp family singers, that I think we might as well just all say Von Trapp. But we can know among ourselves that it is wrong. So don't go around telling everybody, but know in your own heart that it should be Captain Von Trapp and the Von Trapp family singers. So, anyhow, now you're in on the secret, I trust you to share it with no one and say Von Trapp, even though it's wrong. Thanks for watching the video, and let me know if you have any questions. Don't hesitate to reach out. I'm more than happy to answer any, any and all questions you may have about German pronunciation. Talk to you soon.